Local from WPTV. This is Today on 5 at 11. Local coverage you can count on. All right, we're here to help. If you don't know what kind of wine to serve for Thanksgiving Day, as always, who are you going to go call? That's right, not <laughs> Ghostbusters. Certified sommelier, Stephanie Miscue. She's giving you the big tips right after the break. With all the different flavors in a traditional Thanksgiving meal, how do you select the right wine to pair with it? And do you agree that maybe sometimes you want to impress people, like you know <laughs> what you're doing? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, you do. And you don't want to break the bank either. Certified sommelier and author of The Glamorous Gourmet, Stephanie Miscue, is here to share some great wines to enjoy with your Thanksgiving feast. Hi, Stephanie. Hello. Nice to have you. It's so good to be back. You don't want to break the bank, so you, do no. you have to spend a lot of money on you wines? You do not. That is a very okay, common good. misconception. You do not have to break the bank. There are Thank so goodness. many delicious wines at a variety of price points. Mm -hmm. so, That's great. Yeah. Good to know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it's nice it, to know. Yeah. Right, don't well. want to wheel out your California cult collectibles. Oh, okay. What, <laughs> goes, what goes good with what? Yes. yes. Well, let's start. What do we want to sure. start with? There's a few things, because you're not going to pair a wine with every dish. You know, right. you usually get the plate, and it's a mosaic of all different flavors mm -hmm. and textures. So there's three things to keep in mind when you're looking, shopping for wine. First, you want to avoid wines that are really oaky because oak adds a, a layer of heaviness and flavor to an already busy, busy meal. All so right, wines know. like this Juicy Rosé from Monterey County or a Pinot Gris from Oregon where there's no oak involved in the making of the wine are great choices. So the first thing to put on your list if you're not sure is no oak. So if yes. you talk to the guy at the wine store, right. mm -hmm. say, I don't yes. want oak in my wine. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Perfect. Second is you want to avoid really high alcohol wines because as we all know, Thanksgiving is a marathon, oh, not yeah. a sprint. Yeah, so that's right. if you want to be coherent by the time dinner hits the table, uh, you want to pick wines that are lower in alcohol. Sparkling wines are great. I love this Mom Napa Valley. It's delicious. Comes in at 12.5% alcohol. Or this lovely little Muller Turgau from Oregon. It's like a Pinot Grigio. Same, very similar. What kind of um, price are we talking there? Yeah, $16 for the Muller Turgau, $20 for the Mum. All bad. the wines we have today are under $30. Okay. So that's so, perfect. Okay, yeah, low, so, so second, low alcohol. Third. You got it. Third, low tannins, because tannins can fight with a lot of flavors on the table, especially something sweet. Mm -hmm. So you want to avoid that, but you have your red wine lovers <laughs> that you need to make happy. So Pinot Noir is a great choice. I love this Morgan 12 Clones Pinot from Monterey County. Delicious. Or you can mix it up with a Cabernet Franc from Virginia, which is great. Oh. And you would just taste it, and it, yeah, it's going to be delicious with virtually anything on your plate. So this is 14 Yeah, $14. The, uh, the Pinot is the most expensive, 28 but it is, it's worth it. This is the one from group, Virginia? Yeah, that. that's the one, that's from, the one Virginia. from Virginia. Is that the yeah. one that's $14? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's terrific. Great value. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. So now, mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. question. Uh, etiquette. Delicious. I walk in. Mm -hmm. So great to be here, Stephanie. Thanks for inviting us. Yeah. Here's some, some wine. Yeah. You're like, oh, yeah. I've got my wine. Yeah. Are you obligated to serve it? No. As the host or hostess, you already have so much going on. If someone hands you a bottle of wine, Assume it's a gift, and right. if you get to it later, that's fine, but you're not obligated to open it. It's good for the chance. giver to know as well that you're not offended that Definitely. they didn't open it. It's not right. that they don't like it. They've got the plan. Right. Well, that's right. Exactly. Sometimes you can talk so. to the person about it and say, mm -hmm. I really appreciate it, but I've got my, you know, list here. Right. I'm all set to go. Yeah, right. we'll get these wines on the website, too, and those three Beautiful. things you need to know. Mm -hmm. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Same to you. <laughs> and I'll drink hey, to that. Let's hope for a nice <laughs> forecast for our turkey day 